Hi, Harm here. I'm going to do a repeat of my last test with the Ottawa Ultra Light Stove 2. You know, where I'm using the, uh, if you watched it, I used one ounce of methanol on the outer burner and one ounce of methanol on the inner burner. But I made the comment that the flame seemed to really go wide on this burner, so maybe a wider pot would help. And the only one that I can find that I have that's made out of aluminum is this aluminum kettle. Never used this much. Not much of a kettle guy, but uh, I thought I'd try it today. The diameter on this is six inches at its widest, and the pot curves down on the end, and the, the smallest there is about five and three quarter. As compared to this pot, this is just, what did I say, five inches across, if I remember right. Yeah, five inches. So it's, this kettle is a bit wider. So what I'll do now is get my water prepped, get the stove full of alcohol, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. This whole hell, it holds one quart, but it's right up to like the bottom of the spout. So when this boils, I'm liable to get some splash. Let me light this. Not the easiest thing to light. Okay, I think it's... Yep, lit. Let's wait until... The uh, top burners go. Again, like I said, uh, this tea kettle was able to hold one quart, but it's right up to the bottom of the spout, so we'll have to watch for that. Okay, there goes the burners. Here's four cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 6 minutes 40 seconds. Cool. That was 4 cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 6 minutes and 40 seconds. The previous test with the smaller pot, the 5 inches compared to 6, uh, that one took 7 minutes and 35 seconds, so this, this shaved off a, a minute. So let's see when this simmer, when it, the uh, outer burner runs out, and let's see when the whole thing runs out. Okay, the flames are going. They're still lit, but the temperature's dropping, so I'm going to call it at... It's still going, just a hair. I'm going to call it at 1520 for run out. Okay, interesting. A couple of things here. The uh, kettle did spurt out. I had to put a container here to catch the overflow. So in this test, using the wider pot, that kettle is six inches across versus five on the old pot, the other pot. Uh, four cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in six minutes and 40 seconds. On the other test, with the smaller pot, it took 7 minutes 35 seconds. The outer burner, this time, ran out at 10.21, 10 minutes 21 seconds, which last time was 10 minutes 6 seconds, so it's about, what, 15 seconds longer than it ran this time on the outer burner, which affected the inner burner then. Run out this time was 15 minutes 20 seconds, on the previous time it was 16 minutes 35 but I think that was because the outer burner burned just a little bit longer this time which made this the inner burner burn harder for a little bit longer which makes it run out sooner okay so like I said I do think that this setup if with the crossbars or with the wire cage I think it's good for a wider pot the flames come out real wide 
So with a wider pot, it gets more of it on the bottom rather than just running up the side. Okay, I guess I have one or two more tests to do on this thing. I've had tons of requests to put a Trangia burner in this in the outer can and see what that does. Kind of takes away from it being in the uh, Ottawa stove if I do that, but I've had requests. Uh, let's see, what else? There was one other thing, but I forget what it is now. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. If you've been running this, please let me know what you do with it. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.